Hi guys, welcome back. So who should be the kicker for the British and Irish Lions next year? And I'd pick my squad a couple of videos ago for the British and Irish Lions. I picked my team and some of the comments were just questioning whether Finn Russell was a reliable enough goal kicker, uh, whether Connor Murray was a good enough distance kicker. And I was arguing maybe they are. But certainly on reflection, I thought, well, let's talk about it. Who do you guys think should be the kicker? And even if they're maybe not quite as good a player as a different player, should their kicking prowess push them to the fore? You know, and Owen Farrell had just come off the back of that poor kicking day where George Ford really should have stepped up and taken over. Sexton had a few off days as well uh, this year. So I just want to know what your thoughts were. And I come across this website, I'll pop it up on the screen there. And it really shows, it factors in the difficulty of the kicks as well as the percentages of kicks. So it was really interesting to have a look at. So I was just going through some stats, seeing some reasons why you should or shouldn't pick certain players. And just let me know your thoughts really. So, you know, looking at the English Premiership, which a lot of the players who are eligible for the British and Irish Lions will play in. Um, we've got Joe Simmons there, top of the bunch. 91% uh, with a load of kicks. I mean, that's so impressive. You know, we know he's a great kicker, the stats back it up, but he hasn't been picked for England. You know, the ford farrell partnership is too strong, it's too integral to the team at the moment for Eddie to disrupt that. But, remember, Joe Simmons could come in next year, and also Warren Gatlin can pick anybody he wants. They don't have to have played for the national team already. So anyway, then below that, interestingly, we've got George Ford who hasn't been in really many people's thinking for the British and Irish Lions, or even Dan Bigger. Again, a few people have picked him, but you know he's not the top of the bunch. And then another uh, uncapped player for England, Marcus Smith. So it's quite interesting. And then down the bottom there, we've got Sheedy and Farrell. Okay, in the 70s, you know, but nowhere near the kind of the Joe Simmons, George Ford stats there. So that's quite interesting. Um, tell me know, uh, what you think about those. And going into the Pro 14, I couldn't find enough stats for 2020, so I looked at 2019. Uh, but let me know what you think of these guys at the moment. And Adam Hastings, top of the bunch there, with 85%, and a lot of kicks as well. You know, Hastings, a guy again, a bit under the radar because Finn Russell's the main man, but who could he sneak in? Johnny Sexton up to 82%, and Lee Halfpenny actually a little lower than what I'd have expected. Although, do you take into account what they've done in the past? I mean, Leaf Halfpenny's kicked for Wales for ages, um, sometimes bigger, but a lot of the time it was Halfpenny and for the British and Irish Lions. So maybe that goes a long way as well. Same with Owen Farrell. He's had a lot of kicks for England, yes, but also for the Lions as well. So having that experience in that pressure situation could be a mitigating factor if their percentages aren't quite as good. Anyway, um, and then I just had a quick look as well at the top 14, and then Andre Pollard and Finn Russell in the 70s, actually not quite as good as I, I'd think. Um, but, you know, let's say you pick a guy like, I know Andre Pollard's not going to play for the Lions, but of course he's going to play against the Lions if fit, so that was interesting. But if you pick a guy like Finn Russell, do you then think, well, actually, maybe he's not my main goal kicker and I look to include a guy like Lee Halfpenny to do the kicking potentially? Even though the stats here don't look quite, um, you know, like he's a lot better, but I think we know from previous experience he can be absolutely amazing. So, I don't know, Ford, Bigger, Hastings look good, but I think they're still outside shots to be in the starting team. Uh, but then I had a look at the Six Nations International Rugby, then Lee Halfpenny got 100% in 2020, but he only took five kicks, but still 100%. Um, Dan Bigger, nine, in the 90s, Owen Farrell's up to the 80s, and then we've got Finn Russell and Sexton down the bottom and Hastings. So you think, well, maybe for, on the international stage, maybe you should be looking at guys like Farrell and Bigger a bit more. But anyway, in conclusion, I think Owen Farrell still is a really good shout to kick for the Lions. Um, whether he plays 10 or 12, potentially, he's got that experience. He can have some off days. I wouldn't say he's the best kicker ever, but certainly for the number of kicks he's taken for England, the number of kicks he's taken for the Lions, it's not going to phase him. And I think there's going to be a lot of pressure in this tour. Sexton, again, hasn't got the best stats. He's going to be 36 for the tour. 
Do you want him kicking for the Lions, even though you know he slowed down a bit? I don't know. That's why I didn't pick him in the squad orig originally. Finn Russell, do you take the punt with him? Because maybe his stats aren't quite as good, but he's such a talented player. Do you kick with him anyway, or do you play a different player like Lee Halfpenny to kick for him from fullback, say? Um, or maybe take someone like Elliot Daly to take the long-range kicks and give someone like Finn Russell some of the slightly easier kicks, potentially. Or does Warren Gatlin pick a player completely from left field, or slightly from left field even? Um, George Ford would be slightly from left field. Someone like Joe Simmons would be completely from left field. Anyway, guys, I just want to know your thoughts. I've certainly been thinking about it. It's a bit of a head-scratcher at the moment. Uh, but let me know who should kick for the British and Irish Lions all the kicks or long range kicks and easy kicks, whatever it is, let me know and I will catch you next time.